Hello beautiful people, my name is Bridget and welcome back to my channel, hope you're having an awesome day. And today's video should be super fun, I haven't done a QA and a in such a long time. I asked you guys yesterday on my Instagram stories to ask me some questions, I have a ton of them here to answer. And I'm going to go through them today, we're going to talk about some stuff, maybe get to know me a little bit better, and maybe like some products, favorites, and stuff like that. So without any further ado guys, let's go ahead and get into it. And I also, it kind of seems like people don't know that like... Let me see. When you reply to these things, that I can see who replies to it. So when you say something rude, I can see who says it. So there's that. <laughs> but anyways, most of these were really, really cool. And uh, we'll have a surprise visit in today's video as well, because a lot of the questions are very similar. So let's go ahead and get into it. First question is from Bailey Weaver 12 and it says, what is your favorite perfume slash spray at the moment? I just happened to have this here because I was going to take an Instagram picture with it, but the Sol de Janeiro perfume, it's so expensive, but I love their signature smell so much, it's so good. And when I get tired of this once in a while, um, I will switch to like the little tiny samples, I have a ton of them, of Versace's Bright Crystal, which is a classic for like a more, more mature smell. This is very caramelly and pistachio-y, and then um, Bright Crystal. So those are my two go-to scents typically. And um, Dossier, which I do collaborations with a lot, has a dupe for Bright Crystal, which is really good as well. So those are my two go-to scents. This old engineer one I'm like loving right now because it took me so long to actually get my hands on the full-size bottle. I've had like ton of samples. Um, so yeah, that's my favorite thing right now. Party Girl 18 asks, what's your favorite thing about Florida? What do you miss about North Carolina? Love you. Thank you. So I love the warmth of Florida. It's actually kind of chilly right now. I mean, I cut the air, the heat on today for the first time because it was at 70 and I need like temperature at least be 74 in the house. I feel spoiled to the heat these days. So my favorite thing about Florida is the heat. I actually still really love local palm trees. I thought I'd get over it. I haven't. I still think they're absolutely beautiful, but they leave like shetty stuff all over the roads. It's really gross. And then things I miss about North Carolina is like their sweet tea. Anywhere you go, it's pretty good sweet tea. And then barbecue. I miss North Carolina barbecue and hush puppies and cookout. Okay, if you have a cookout in your town, you know what I'm talking about? Like, I can get like a burger and fries and like some chicken nuggets and a huge drink all for five bucks and it's just it's such a good deal like I miss cookout so much and here if you go to Bojangles and you order food they're like regular that we have everywhere else is like they're spicy here so that's really strange to me but mostly I miss the food of North Carolina <laughs> this one is fun this one's fun okay so this one is from Jen and Fashion it says if you could pick three celebrities to sleep with who would they be you know Gwen Stefani Johnny Depp those are the two easiest like Gwen Stefani and Johnny Depp. <sighs> the third one's hard because I have a lot of crushes. I'm just gonna go Mads McKelson just for like my sick twisted fantasies, okay? I feel like, yeah, I feel like he'd be down for some stuff. So those are my three, Gwen Stefani, Johnny Depp, and Mads McKelson. <laughs> a Mads McKelson could be switched out with a couple other people, but like, I feel like, I don't know. I, he, he looks, he has like that, that morbid look to him that I love. Jen in Fashion asked me a lot of questions, so I'm going to pick another one from her. And it says, do you consider yourself codependent? Absolutely. I know most people think that as a toxic, terrible trait to be codependent, you should be dependent on your own, blah, 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 blah. But I really like the companionship of someone. I don't like to be single, so I need the companionship. I like to feel like someone is there for me and someone can take care of me. So I really like that. So yes, I do consider myself codependent. <laughs> Oh, and my age. My age is 26. I'm 26, which a lot of people can never guess how old I am. Um, I guess post possibly because my look changes a lot, but I'm 26, which is unfortunate. I had a lot of goals for myself. Like 25 is going to be my year, y'all. 25, I'm going to have this, 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 this done in my life. And you know what? None of it happened. But you know, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Infinite Midnight asks, talk about your experience working at Ulta and why you quit. So I worked at Ulta for a few months when I first moved down to Florida because I didn't know if I'd financially be able to take care of myself just on YouTube. And these days it's kind of rough, just views been down lately, but um, I worked at Ulta for a few months and I ended up losing money because I would spend a lot of money on products and things on sale. And they never actually, like, even though I have a ton of experience in the makeup stuff, I probably know more, more about products than literally anyone else working there. I just feel like they kept putting me in strange hours, like 10 to midnight stalking the store, or it'd be like 5 a.m. to 9 a.m. when the store wasn't even open. So my experience was not being utilized as best as it should have been even though I told them like quit schedule me for these kind of weird hours I really work I want to work with the products um so I quit 
and mostly I wanted to focus on not spending too much money at Ulta as well as working on my channel. I feel like it was for the best and honestly I got so much anxiety about um, working around people anyways that I feel like really from mental health my mental health's been a lot better since working from home again so that's why honestly I just I feel like I wasn't being utilized as much as I could have been was my experience and I wanted to focus on YouTube and strengthen that and it really did help so that's that nope nothing terrible happened there that I quit like drastically or anything the people that I worked with were very nice Minty Lynn 1997 asks, what are your favorite types of shoes? Also, you're super beautiful. Thank you. My favorite types of shoes, I don't wear flats. Typically, I have like two pairs of flats. They're like, they were really expensive and they're super, super cute. I can't remember what brand they're from. I think they were some strange cult. But I have one that this little black ballet flats that say goth and like a Lydia bat green flat. But mostly I wear wedges and heels everywhere. I don't ever wear anything that's not wedges and heels. My favorite shoes are these tiny little like two or three inch wedges that I got from Payless last year before they closed down because they were on sale and I wear them every single day. Like the bottoms are worn out, like they are blown out. They look terrible. They're super, super terrible looking, but they're so freaking comfortable. And now that Payless is closed, I can't find a dupe. Like I went on Amazon and I found a similar pair, but they're made of a totally different like weird velvet material and they're taller. And uh, since my man's isn't like super, super tall and he doesn't care about it, like he doesn't care about me wearing heels and stuff, he encourages it and I do wear heels sometimes. I didn't want to wear something super, super tall all the time because I wear those like every day. So right now I'm wearing my little worn out shoes because they're just so comfortable. I love them so much. I don't care. Like I love them so much. So mostly I wear wedges and heels and once in a while a pair of flats, but they're not my favorite thing. Next up is from Bring Me Roses. Is how are you doing? Your skin looks awesome lately. By the way, what face stuff have you been using? Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, I went drinking last weekend and I was like so worried my skin was going to need to completely redo itself, like restart everything. Um, but it was actually okay. But mostly I'm using a normal face wash. I'm using a cleanser from either Dermalogica or Good Molecules, which is Beauty uh, Beautylicious brand. And then I'm using three serums and a moisturizer every night. So I will insert a picture of what three serums I'm using as well as the moisturizer. The moisturizer does change for me, but the three serums I've steady been using every single night and it really works for me, honestly. I feel like it's a good balance of products. It's not too much on the skin. Kiss Me Katie says, you look so much happier recently, are you? Yes, I am actually. Um, I don't wanna die right now. Isn't that crazy, you guys? <laughs> That's not something normal people say, but it's something I have to say because I do feel a lot happier lately. I'm doing pretty good other than like, I've been wanting to boost the YouTube thing because it's not been growing how I've been wanting it to grow. I'm kind of like a creative block right here on this. But other than that though, I'm, I'm doing really well actually, which is so strange for me to say, but I'm really proud to say it. Melanie, glad to see you, says, I wonder if you and I would be good friends. I love MCR and vegan makeup. <laughs> we probably would be. <laughs> I love my chemical romance so much, you guys, so much. I want another MCR tattoo. I just, I just want another one. I want another one. I'll put it on this arm instead of this arm this time. It'd be so gun. Um, my favorite drugstore liquid eyeliner. I don't know. It's the, I don't know. I'm not super dedicated to certain liquid eyeliners. Like I'm loving the glam light one that I just finished, but I'm not dedicated to one. Okay, so a lot of the questions are very similar, and they asked a very specific thing. And it's about if I has a man. And I do. And he's right here. Hey, people. <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> yes. I thought he was going to be a lot more reflective. <laughs> but no, this is my boyfriend. He's very nice and um, awkward on camera, apparently. But it's okay. Yeah. yeah. Zatchel and him are best friends. Um, I don't know where Zatchel is at the moment to show you Zatchel, but he, um, Zatchel has a new friend right now. So yeah, there's that. I know I said I was gonna keep my private light private after the last thing that happened, but guess who has bad habits? Me, but I have a good habit right now and it's him. Thank you for joining me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, see you later. Thanks. All right, next question is from a.makeup. It says, Edward Scissorhands or Beetlejuice? And, um, Edward Scissorhands. <laughs> I love Beetlejuice too, do not get me wrong. Um, oh, he's right here. But yeah, Edward Scissorhands. It's just the nostalgia factor for me. Johnny Depp, Tim Burton, first film ever made together. Love it. And I love the, like, the 50s kind of style too. So, um, definitely that. 
Ooh, the next one is from Tonka1993. It says, do you want to visit Europe? If yes, what countries? Yes, I think it'd be so cool. Um, I would love to visit Scotland to see my best friend Declan. I would love to visit Ireland as well as Italy. I think that'd be really fun. Next question is from Dab Snob, and it says, what kept you motivated to make content on YouTube before your following grew? And honestly, I just really loved doing it. I think it was like, um, like a self goal for me to keep doing, keep it up. And I wanted to see it grow. It took me a year to get to a thousand subscribers. And after that, it really blossomed um, like 18,000 immediately after that. So yeah, I don't know. I really liked doing it. I feel like it was something to keep me busy. I don't like having spare time. I don't like, I don't like free time, honestly. I can't sit around all day and do absolutely nothing. So for me, that was something to keep me busy and I really enjoyed doing it. Ms. Lunaria says, hands down, life or death, best palette. Also, hi. Hi, best palette. You know, y'all know I'm partial to that Yes Please palette from ColourPop. It is what's on my eyebrows right now to make my eyebrows orange. Like, it is a good palette. Also, I'm really loving the Goddess palette from Alter Ego. You can use code Porcelain to save money off it, blah, blah, blah. But like, it just looks so good every time I use it. It's so effortlessly pretty. So those are two that I like love. Oh, but like saying life or death, best palette is so hard. Ooh, um, Nailadia. I'm sorry, if I mispronounce the name, I'm so, I'm so sorry. But it says, love ya, favorite AS AHS season and character of the series. My favorite season is Freak Show. I just I just love the aesthetic of it. <laughs> yes. And then my favorite character, without a doubt, like hands down, like I want I want him to kill me. I want him to eat my flesh. Like something. He doesn't really do that, but he's like my favorite character in the whole wide world. And there's he just oozes sexiness for me. And it is Mr. March from American Horror Story Hotel. This man comes on the screen with that little pencil mustache and the slick black hair, talking the way he does, and I'm just like oozing, dying, melting for that man. So Mr. March is my favorite American Horror Story character of all time, without a doubt. Like it <laughs> does it for me. I don't know. Next up says my favorite video game. My favorite video game is Fallout. I love the Fallout series. I also really love Far Cry and Overwatch. <laughs> I love all these questions like, are you seeing anyone? <laughs> and I just answered that. And I was, I was so scared to even answer that for the longest time. Um, yeah. But things are going well and I'm like if I'm happy in my life I should be able to share with the internet if it doesn't go well in the future oh well but like I want to enjoy what I'm doing and I don't have to feel like I have secrets from you know anyone so yeah I feel better about that now uh, Nicole Harris 10 says do you have any palettes you regret decluttering not really I mean I decluttered the born to run palette from urban decay and missed it so I repurchased that and then decluttered it again so honestly no there's nothing I like have to have in my collection that I decluttered Journeyness says, how are you liking Jacksonville? It's good. I almost dropped my phone. <laughs> it's good. Very sketchy on my side of town. Um, a lot of crime. I have a lot of packages stolen constantly. Um, but I feel like if I was on a different side of Jacksonville, it'd be really nice. Like if I moved to like the Orange Park side, I feel like that'd be good. Bailey00 says, do you feel like you'll ever quit YouTube? And yes. I guess like zero plans like any within the foreseeable future but like when I'm like 40 or something I don't know if this is what I'm still gonna be wanted to do so maybe at some point but like as of right now like this is all I want so yeah I'm, I'm not quitting anytime soon all these questions are about men <laughs> Ooh, um I can't pronounce his name but what kind of music do you listen to I listen to first of all I listen to a lot of true crime podcasts and I may be considering and putting things together for my own. I may have already picked out a name and made a theme song and already picked up my first case. So I may be doing my own soon. We'll see how it goes with Cortland, um, which is my boyfriend's name because I don't know if we introduced him like that because it was super awkward to put him on camera, but Cortland and I may be doing a podcast together. We're working on it. We'll see how it goes. I know working together is not like a a thing people should do but like it's not it's just for fun so it's not like no pressure to like you know anything like that um but music i listen to i still listen to 2000s emo music 2000s rock so i listen to 
Um, current stuff that I listen to is mostly like Bad Flower and Fall Out Boy and my, uh, oh, My Chemical Romance isn't around anymore. I still listen to them all the time, but you know, Penny the Disco, Fall Out Boy, Bad Flower, Shine Down, that kind of thing. And then a lot of like classic emo stuff. <laughs> I'm still an emo kid and I still love that subconscious. It's so good. Like, it doesn't get old for me. Like, if you sit here and tell me when the taste of ink by the used comes on, you don't lose it, you're not my people. <laughs> okay. Aw. All these are so sweet. Um, Eric, I'm not gonna say your last name, says, How much do you miss our hometown? Because I sure don't. I don't miss it at all. The place where I went to high school and everything. I don't miss it at all. Not a single thing. The only thing I miss out of North Carolina, like I said, is the food. I don't miss the atmosphere of like everyone being just so conservative, so boring, and just like not like out there. I, I and not having anything to do. Like I don't miss that at all. Like I definitely wouldn't have to live in the city like I do right now forever. I would definitely be fine with like an hour outside of a city. But I couldn't live in like the country where there's not even a stoplight. Like. I couldn't do it. Where the latest, the newest gas station is technically in a different town. Like, I don't know. Like, I couldn't do it anymore. Like, driving two hours to get a pizza and come home is just too much. Like, an hour there, an hour back. That's what I mean. Ooh, John Foley, hi, <laughs> asks, what discontinued beauty product will you wish would come back? Love you. Thank you. Love you, too. Discontinued product I wish would come back is the Gwen Stefani palette. For Urban Decay. I feel like mine's expired and it's not performing as best as it used to, but I love Gwen Stefani so much and she could keep doing Urban Decay collabs every single week and I would buy them every single week. So yeah, that's one thing. Next up from Sarah Lynette24 says biggest fear and she also wants to know the man of my recent snaps, now you know. <laughs> my biggest fear is a certain insect. I'm not going to tell the internet that just because I don't want to be used against me in the future, but it's very specific insect is my th biggest fear. Also dying alone. Yeah, you know, it just doesn't sound fun at all. Um, but yeah. Oh, my favorite holiday scents. I don't have, a, I'm not a holiday scent person. I like things that smell like men and smell clean. So I don't have like a, I don't like a, I'm not like a big autumn smell kind of person. Christy79 says, any new tattoos to show off? So for my last tattoo tour, I don't think I have anything new besides spooky and a little ghost in a coffin with some flowers, like some little flowers in the grave with the ghosty. So these are my two newest tattoos. I think all the rest, oh, and my hand, because I have a spider web in my hand now. So those are my three newest ones that aren't my latest tattoo tour, but I think all the rest are documented in that newest video. Also, my tattoo tour is always in the bottom of my description box because people ask about them a lot. The last question I'm going to answer today is from Joxer Foxy. It says, what's your go-to palette when you're doing your eye makeup for the day? Honestly, lately it's been the That's Tote palette from ColourPop. It's just super, super easy. And then like the Goddess palette, like I said, from Alter Ego because it's just, <laughs> I just really like the looks to come up with with it. So anyways, you guys, this was like a stressful video for me to film. I was so nervous to like introduce a new man on my platform and stuff especially since it's only been like a month and a half and stuff but like things are going so well I'm very optimistic and I don't want to have to hide my life from the internet since my life is on the internet if things go bad in the future so be it but like I'm enjoying my life and I want to show him off so <laughs> I have a nice man um he's very smart his name's Cortland he was in the Marines so he's very tough I have a thing for blue eyes he's blue eyes too love a beard and it's he treats me really well. I'm not used to being treated well. I'm used to being treated well enough to be happy, don't get me wrong, but I'm never, I'm not used to being like, like that person's like something, you know? I, it makes any sense. Like I'm used to being treated fine and being happy and stuff, but I'm not used to like, if I have an issue with someone, someone wants to like, correct it perfectly and like make me super, super happy and always like reminds me every day of like how important I am. I'm not used to that and it's really nice and refreshing. So I just wanted to share it and I'm super happy about it. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I do have a coffee tip as well as joining my channel in the description box down below if you want to support the channel. If you don't, I appreciate you just watching anyways. And uh, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.
I feel like I'm gonna catch on fire. My lights give off like an, a poisony smell. I told you that. It does. <laughs> I'm just gonna come one day and you're just gonna be face down on this table. Just. <laughs> it smells like poison when I film. It's really annoying. It does. You need to clean your stuff. Mean? Well, I'm just saying. It's, it's probably what it is. It's the dust on whatever elements. You call me dusty? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Anxiety. You've been Slowly anxiety? rising, yeah. About I don't what? Know what to do. I'm not good at this stuff. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for joining. You're welcome. You are now confirmed as a real human. Yeah. Now we can't break up. Yeah. Sorry. I know. I, I see it. You're one to. Yeah. Is that G? It's all coming. <laughs> oh, and y'all want to see the cats. Here's natural. <laughs> well, I'm going to go snuggle with. Okay. <laughs> Thanks for joining. Ow! That's my nipple. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> they just like dug into my nipple. <laughs>